This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 24. Has explosive run plays. Impossible to stop glitch routes. An explosive pass plays versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you want to see what hard to stop offense I'm using results like this, stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top hand comment. In today's gameplay, I'll be showing you guys another game from my online CFM that I made with 32 subscribers, and today I'll be facing off against another one loss team in the Miami Dolphins, one of the fastest teams in Madden history. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section. If you want a chance to be in this league or maybe even a second league that I might be planning for the future, I will leave links to the Discord in the description below. I started this game out on defense, and I'll once again be using my 3-3 odd scheme that I put out a gameplay video about just a few days ago, as this is the off-meta meta defense in Madden 24 right now. But I'll mostly be focusing on offense in this video, so if you guys want to see more from this defense, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. On the first play of my opponent comes out in the exact same I-form close formation that I've been using to destroy this league for the last several weeks. Just to give you guys a little background information about this league, as I am making videos about every single game that I play, and then sharing it to the league along with everyone else, which has some players wondering in the chats how no one can stop me, considering that I am literally broadcasting everything that I am doing before I do it. Now tell them exactly what we're going to do. I'll give them our offense, I'll give them our defense. Because it's not what you do, goddammit, it's how you do it. But this opponent is going to put that theory to the test, as he clearly watched my last offensive video that I put out against the Rams, where I used one unstoppable play all game in the PA deep cross go. But he didn't do the setup right, and I saw right away, gotcha, bitch. leading to an interception on the first play as I get a great return to get inside of the red zone. So I decided to start this game by showing him how to run this offense correctly, but he must have really studied that video because he comes out in the exact same 4-3 even 6-1 defense that I mentioned gave this offense problems against the Rams. As this just doesn't leave a lot of room for run lanes and I have to work a miracle run just to get positive yards. So against this defense, I have to rely more on the pass plays as I switch to the speed out route to get the first before just pounding the rock relentlessly straight ahead on the next three plays to eventually score. Finally! But it's clear that I'm going to have to use a different offense today. On defense, I am still setting everything up as far as my coaching adjustments and personnel since the game just started and he is already in a hurry up offense. So in my confusion, I accidentally picked the wrong cover one defense in the cover one man press. And pressing Tyreek Hill is the last thing that I want to do. So I switched to the Mike defense one as I also have a preset in my audibles. But when I flip the play, for some reason it has an issue where the hard flat linebacker glitches out and covers the wrong side of the field, leaving the crossing route wide open. Before he calls a hurry up and puts Tyreek Hill on a streak before I have a chance to switch back to my cover one defense that I accidentally called. Damn it! and we give him an easy score with all that confusion. Back on offense, I try to stay in the iPhone close, but he has watched enough videos about it as he shuts down the run on the first play and gets a sack on the next play to push me back to a crazy third and 22. So I decide it's time to kick it up a notch and use my upgraded gun stack wide flex scheme that I put out last week, as this is probably the most unstoppable offense that I've ever put out. I already made a full breakdown of this offense as well, so if you guys want to see more about it, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. For my substitutions, I was lucky enough to sign 94 speed KJ Hamler off the free agency wire when I started this league, so I put him in the stack with my fastest receiver of Quez Watkins, as these are the two most explosive routes. And he immediately opens up his defense to cover the 22 yards, but something that I noticed recently though, is that against a lot of zone coverages, all you have to do is motion out the running back and put the B receiver on a streak, and it'll pull everything back to get this running back wide open underneath for the first. And now that I have the first, and I have him stuck in a smaller defense, I'm going to call a hurry up to keep him in it, so that I can just pound the rock against these huge gaps until I 
score or he calls a timeout. But I also don't want my running back to get too tired, so I mix in a few passing plays here and there as I notice he's in a cover three zone. So I hit the running back underneath at first before I realize that doesn't really help to keep him rested before passing to the speed out route on the next play to give him a break and get inside the 10. I run one more time to try to score, but I can tell that he's too tired. So I decide to switch out running backs in the huddle with another free agent that I signed in Tariq Cohen as he still doesn't show enough respect to the run and I punch it in two plays later. On defense, we have a much better effort now that we have everything set up as we get into a third and nine right away and I decide to use that same A-gap blitz that I made my last defensive video about. <laughs> And we get an insanely fast sack before his play can even develop to force him to punt it away. I haven't put out a gameplay video about this offense yet, so it's clear that he doesn't know how to adjust to it, as I continue to make big runs against his smaller defenses. But I forget to put Swift back in the game, so I let him go back to the huddle, only to see him come back out in the exact same defense, resulting in the exact same results of me pounding the rock relentlessly and calling hurry up until I get inside the 10 once again before going back to the huddle to let Swift catch a breath. When I come back out this time, it looks like he switched to a slightly larger defense defense that looks like the man zero blitz so i switched to the drive age wheels this wheel route really gets open against any defense in the game as long as i throw it right away on defense he switches to what looks like my strong close scheme which is an offense that i only put out in my ebooks but since all league members also have unlimited ebook access it looks like he has been putting that to use behind the scenes as he works his way down the field methodically before taking a shot how about new while once again not quite setting this play up right as you're supposed to run from a hash mark to the short side of the field and he ran it from a hash mark to the open side of the field not to mention that he was just a little bit too close to the end zone for that one play touchdown as we get that a gap blitz to work one more time on third and five <laughs> to hold into a field goal. I still had plenty of time, so I dink and dunk the short game routes to move down the field while also controlling the clock. But this offense is mostly the inside zone and the running back on the wheel route before I hit a slant over the middle to get inside the red zone. But then my man's film study kicks in as I plan to hit the speed out route from jump since it was on the open side of the field and he's running cover three. Oh no you don't! And he was all over that for the user alert to end the half. In the second half, I try to use my I-form offense again, and he gets a sack on the very first play to push me back to second and 19. And now that I'm behind the sticks, I just can't pound the rock anymore, as I'm still too far away from the first down marker, as I get sacked on third and long and have to punt away. On defense, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to show you guys a one-play touchdown that he uses against me that I'm pretty sure he learned from me, as I use it quite a lot. I see him come out in the I-form slot close, a classic RPO formation, so I switch to my cover one man scheme that I just put out a defensive video about a few days ago, and we shut it down big time but now that he's running rpos i decide to stay in it and only this time he makes an adjustment that i've mentioned in a lot of my one play touchdown videos that wheel routes to the running back absolutely destroy cover one man especially to the short side of the field and even more so if you have a fast running back like devin a chain god damn it he then decides to go for two, but he hasn't faced my cover for quarters match defense in this situation yet, as nothing gets open and we get to stop to keep it a touchdown game. But he's closing in fast, so I want to score now. But I get a little bit too antsy as I force a bad throw and throw an interception instead, as he has all the momentum at this point. On defense, I'm not going to use that cover on defense anymore, as I don't really want to spend too much of my attention on watching for wheel routes, so I switch to the cover four, and nothing is open, as we get a huge coverage sack. On third down, I decide to go to that same A-gap blitz, as I know I can get to him before his receivers get 18 yards down the field and it sends him running for his life as I get another sack to push him back to fourth and 30 as my defense bails me out. Back on offense his biggest issue in the game has been his fear of my deep passing as he has called mostly small defenses to limit that but I always take what the defense gives me and against this look it's the run game as he has no second level defenders until the safeties who are about 15 yards away. So from here I'm just going to pound the rock again and since I like this look I'm going to once again call hurry up to keep him in it and I do that until the quarter ends giving him a chance to change defenses and go back into the 4-3 even 6-1 that's given me the most problems. But on third and inches, I see that he switches to the man zero blitz, so I switch to my man zero blitz one play touchdown on the drive H wheel, as I would rather score. But I also decide to flip the play, which means my slow receiver in AJ Brown is going to be the one running that route, making it harder to score from here. But all you have to do is put the B receiver on a streak and pass lead inside away from the cornerback, and you will always at least have a big play. As we get in a field goal range before he stops me from there, and I have to settle for a field goal to go back up to an eight point lead late in the fourth quarter. Back on offense, I become a little bit too reliant on Henry's A gap blitz, but I still prefer my man cover one that I'm no longer using since I don't want to watch for that wheel route. As he puts together another clutch drive to work his way down the field to get to a big third and seven and makes a clutch play to put himself into the position to tie the game. But this is an offensive video, 
So I stick with it as I know I just have to make better reads and adjustments to go down the field and win this game. I see he's in cover through in the next play, so I work the speed out route that he intercepted earlier. Then I start making some new adjustments, as that is more important to winning games than money plays itself. As he stays in cover through in the next play, so I just streak the B receiver to pull back the coverage and put the Y receiver on a flat, as this trick creates a very easy catch and run for five or more yards every single time. He switches the cover one man on the next play, probably hoping that I throw that flat again, as that doesn't beat man coverage and can probably end in an interception. But since I run this offense so much, I can spot the little differences, so I use the same concept Concept, only this time I use the zig route and I get a big play to get back in the field goal range and now I'm going to run the ball just to keep the clock going as he starts calling timeouts and I read man zero blitz on the next play as he was probably hoping to knock me backwards out of field goal range but I take the wheel route from the drive edge wheel one more time and make sure to cut back to stay in bounds to keep that clock running As I can now milk the clock down as I'm not even trying to score anymore. I just want to kick a field goal with no time left. And that's exactly what happens as we go to 6-1 and one on the season. I asked him if there was anything that he wanted me to know about him before I made a video about this game. As a lot of people in here have an agenda like they want to be streamers or YouTubers themselves. But he is exactly who I thought he was. Just a regular family guy who watches a lot of my videos. And he probably gave me the best game in my league so far this year because of it. Aside from the Patriots guy who beat me in the first game. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the offenses and defenses I was using. And even my opponent was using in this game i will have links to them popping up on screen and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below